Hello and welcome back to the fourth edition of Learning Estonian. This will be our last video on the topic of cases, so let's get right into it. As you can see, we have five cases to cover, one in a single formation and four separate ones. So, the first case would be uh, a very weird, if you want to say so, case. It's translative. And in Estonian, uh, translative would be sav. And let's remember what we have learned before. If we're going to start forming any other cases, we're going to base them all off genitive. So let's just use ilosa grammatu as our base. Here. Ilusa Ramatum. And for this case we have a rather uncommon ending. It would be two letters KS. And the same for the noun KS. Ilusax Ramatux. Just like that. And let's do the plural right away, which would be ilusate, ramatute, as in genitive, and just add the ks in the end, ilusatex, ramatutex. Now, an example for this ca case. I wanted to become a beautiful book. So in Estonian it would be Madatin saata ilusaks ramatux. All right, so this was a separate case, but now we're gonna move on to these four cases. In Estonian, they're called ninatakakandet, which would mean behind the nose cases, but it's not really the reason. Our our nose or our face is not a reason for their name. So, but I'm gonna explain them in a little bit why they're called the ninatakakandet. So the first case is terminative, and it, and in Estonian. It's Rayov. And let's use the um, uh, genitive case again. And Ilusa Ramattu, it would be. And for these, let me just uh, mention it very quick. For these four cases, we are not changing anything with the adjective. We're only going to be working with the noun. So for all these cases, the adjective will be ilusa, just like in genitive. But for the noun, we're going to add an ni. Ilusa ramattoni. And for the plural, we're going to use ilusa te ramatu te ramatu te ni. An example would be, I made my way towards the beautiful book. And in a synonym it would be Malayin te ilosa ramattuni. All right, and now let's move on to the second case in this block, which is esev. And in Estonian it would be Olaf. So ilosa again, ramattu. But we're gonna use na. Ilusa ramatuna. And in plural, it would be ilusate ramatute na. Just add the na. Very simple. An example would be I felt as if I were a beautiful book. Matuinsinenast ilusa ramatuna. I know it might be very absurd, but we're just doing examples here. So, the third case would be abessive, and in Estonian, it would be ilma ütlev. So, again, ilusa ramatu, and we're gonna add ta in the end. And the same exactly for plural, very example, very simple. Ilusa te ram, ramatu te ta. Ramatu te ta. So, an example uh, sentence would be 
I feel very bad without a beautiful book. Ma tunnen ennast väga halvasti ilusa raamatuta. And our last case would be commutative. And in Estonian it would be kaasa ütlev. So, example sentence ilusa raamatu ka. And in plural ilusate raamatu te ka. Example sentence I always travel with my beautiful book. Ma alati reisin koos oma ilusa raamatuga. All right, so this finishes all the 14 cases that are in the Estonian language. Let's revise. The cases are nominative, genitive, partitive, elative, inessive, elective, allative, adhesive, ablative, translative, terminative, essive, adhesive, and commutative. Thank you very, very much for watching this series, and I hope that you'll enjoy the future videos as well. Have a nice day, and I hope that, that the Estonian will be your future language of choice.